scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Jesus Christ, I made it. What did you bring as a gift? Nothing. I brought myself. Be grateful that I am saved. You will become like that man with one talent who said, I know you are a hard man. You like reaping where you did not sow. It's not enough to be saved. You must ensure that through your life, imagine how many people will walk up to you in heaven and look at you and tap you. And you say, who are you? You say, you may not remember. But thank you for giving to the Lord. I am alive that was saved. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you came. Listen, may it not be that that day you will turn and see your roommate. You will turn and see somebody you laugh with and ate with in your office for 10 years. And never told the person about Jesus the person drove you as a big man for 15 years never heard about Jesus Christ apostle but I, I don't want to fall my hand I can tell you this believe it or not the worst one is that you see your family members can I tell you nobody will be spared who does not have that software of the resurrection power of Jesus that trump and in a moment all of us in Christ will arise for some of you the Lord Jesus will tell you remember that night in Koinonia when my son was shouting you laughed at the jokes but when it was time for an altar call you sat down when my spirit was telling you this is the moment of destiny We will not be here forever whether we like it or not that is the truth our goal is to live as long as our assignments demand serving the purposes of God and living victoriously but can I tell you you can have assurance today of salvation and you can tap into that resurrection power there is such a doctrine of the resurrection our hope is not only in this life I will pray for you to prosper always i will pray for you to increase always i will pray for you to do well always but my greatest joy is not that you receive these things my consolation should be at the back of your prosperity at the back of your increase you have settled it with god and that power of resurrection dwells within you and you know that whether in life or in death you are victorious till he returns or calls me home here in the power of christ i stand what height of love what depth of peace till he returns 
I remember many years ago watching Renhard Bonke on that crusade ground. I was already saved. But I watched him. I followed his ministry very carefully. And I saw times when he started getting old. I remember the last time he came for his crusade in Lagos. As though he knew it would be his last. The day they said he had gone. I said, my God. This man was once alive. And now he's gone. Hear me. There are people who were alive as of January this year. Some have gone. In fact, there were those who were alive yesterday. I will never mean you evil. And as far as my assignment is concerned, I will keep speaking life. So that you will have that body healthy and prepared to leave your assignment. But can I tell you, it is not a wise way to fear death. The purpose of longevity is not the fear of death. The purpose of longevity is the time and the enablement to fulfill the purposes of God given to you. Look at me. I want you to kill the fear of death this night. To be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. And if he comes, Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, time to go. Revive us again. Before we pray, we're going to have three minutes of intercession. That will be our corporate gift as a ministry to the Lord Jesus at this Easter. To say, Lord, the least we can do is to intercede for the next two minutes for souls. But before we do that, I want to make an altar call while you are still seated there's no point playing games can i tell you if you take seriously what i'm saying god can give you a chance to make it right i don't need to cajole you no matter how stubborn your spirit is the holy ghost must have penetrated it to tell you that this issue of life and destiny this is it you are saying apostle while i'm seated here i cannot say for sure that if i die today it is heaven there are others who are saying if jesus comes i may be part of the many you are saying will be left behind i don't mean to scare you but listen to me i'm going to count one to three give your destiny a chance win that war or you are saying apostle i think i remember making this call but as it is my life has gone haywire i came to church i don't want to play games i want you to run and come and stand here nobody will force you but on that day there used to be a song we used to sing before um what's the song now on the last day on, on the last day only true believers on the last day only true believers on the last day can i tell you if you know you are going to hell run out and come and stand here don't do big manism for your eternal destiny no it is not a wise choice apostle i'm not sure join them and be sure there is such a thing called the assurance of salvation don't mind all the naysayers who are saying you are coming out it's better to come out five times and be sure than to sit back in assumption and go to hell Come to Jesus. Come to him. Once and for all. Come to him. Everyone you see who is not coming out must have made this decision. So there is nothing embarrassing about it. If you are coming all the overflows, please make sure you stand there. We are going to intercede. But I thought to do this so that I get it out of the way. Quickly, please come. 
Apostle, I've been going to church. I confess that I've been one of the people laughing at preachers. Don't worry, we forgive you. God loves you. Join them. Join them. You have to be saved. After this, you can now say Happy Easter and really believe what you are saying. There is nothing happy about the Easter to a soul that is determined to be damned. Thus will we pass from the earth and its toiling. Only remember by what we have done. Come, I'll give you one more minute. I know there are so many people, but there is still room. There is still room come to Jesus and those of you who are sitting you shouldn't be looking you should be praying because we are from this altar call now we are going to get into praying just five minutes if you cannot invest five minutes of your intercessory ministry for souls you are not a lover of God there's no need hurrying anywhere I want to pray listen to me those of you who are here please look at me the idea is not to scare you but the idea is to leave you with the truth. Jesus died and rose. You took all my guilt and shame When you died and rose again Now today you reign In heaven and earth exalted I really want to worship you my God you have won my heart and I am yours Forever and ever I will love you You are the only one who died for me Gave your life to set me free So I lift my voice to you In adoration May I please request, I know that there are so many of you, some of you are crying. There's no need to cry. Someday, because of this decision you have made, we will have another kind of koinonia. Not in this place. Do you know there is another fellowship? I know there is another Lift your right hand. Please say after me, all of you. You may cry, but say it. Jesus is here. Let him hear you. In one minute, please say after me from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. I come to you tonight. Just as I am. Unable to help myself. I have heard your word tonight. I need you say it again i need you in my life i need the power of resurrection in my spirit i confess you as my savior the one who died for me as my lord the one my allegiance is towards and as my king the governor of my destiny i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that as jesus defeated sin the grave death and hell i also by this confession i declare my my victory over sin over hell over death over the grave i declare that i have eternal life the resurrection power now lives within me i am a child of god victorious on earth and victorious even after this life in jesus name i pray amen and amen let me pray for you father by your confessions of faith i decree and declare that indeed they not only have salvation but they have the assurance of salvation let nothing ever pluck them from your hand in the name of jesus 
Lord, you will save them. You will keep them. You will establish them. Now I pray for you, the fear of death and doubt whether you belong to Jesus or not. I command that thought to leave your destiny forever. Let me remind you that you are not saved just by what you have done. No man is able to save himself by the works of the law. It is vanity and it is vain. You are only saved because you believe in this reality that Jesus came, he walked upon the earth, he died, went to hell, defeated hell, death, sin and the grave, resurrected triumphantly and now he lives and abides forever. Now hear me please, ladies and gentlemen, let me encourage you make up your mind to continue to pursue that which makes for your spiritual establishment even as you have done the house of god is where we are built where we are established it's not just going to church like coming to be a member of a church it is more than that it is being planted in the house of god so that you will flourish in the courts of our god now there are a number of you um and i know that a number of you are rededicating your lives to Christ, I presume. Counselors, you can manage both sets. Those who are making their decision the first time, you can group them so you spend more time. Those who are rededicating their life because of the crowd, I'm not sure that because we have to get into a prayer session now. So you can just pray so that they can return back to their seats. There are so many people and so that it can ease up the work for the counselors. Our focus primarily now, as far as follow-up is concerned, is those who are saved for the first time. So let me encourage you as you go, those who are, this is the first time you are making this decision. It's an opportunity for you they will ask you to be grouped somewhere else please move there so they can just speak a word of prayer for those who are rededicating their lives and then they rush back are we together but for now may i request that you please move to my right which is your left let's celebrate them a number of them okay we are splitting into two right from where i'm standing all those who are here please go this way and then the remaining go that way thank you we're helping to manage because of the number of people let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah now our time is up in the next five minutes we're going to is this is our corporate gift tonight to the Lord Jesus I want you to think of at least two or three people you know who are not saved it could be your loved ones it could be someone and let's cry as a family of faith and say Lord they will not go to hell not when we are here if you don't have anyone to pray for pray in the spirit please pray there has to be someone in your life some relative somewhere some unbeliever somewhere and those of you who are viewing following here is your chance to intercede pray for someone's eternal destiny lord that they will not be lost don't be tired lord in the name of jesus we decree and declare from the north to the south east to the west we pray for the unreached we pray for the unsaved we pray for missionaries we pray for men and women who are out there in the field crying for souls in the name of jesus strengthen them lord we pray that you save to the uttermost as a global family of faith we bring to you as a gift our intercession over the lost lord save them we release angels bring them to the foot of the cross pray for your father pray for your mother pray for your brothers and sisters pray for your colleagues in the office 
pray let the fire of salvation engulf africa nigeria europe pray for europe pray for america pray for these regions that seem to be losing out in many ways lord revive them Pray. Shake parakatos kalibrande gete belekosiata. Lord, we pray for salvation. We pray for salvation. We intercede for the lost. Bring them to the foot of the cross. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the power of resurrection will catch up with them. That they may know Jesus. They will pledge their lives and their days to your lordship lord we intercede in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah let me add one more prayer point this one will be to you now you are going to pray and say father the power of resurrection let it speak in my life right now total victory lift your voice and pray the culmination of it will be when the trumpet blasts but there are measures of it that have been given unto us to experience right now Go ahead and pray the power of resurrection it must work in my life that power that raised christ from the dead someone is praying that i may know you and that i may walk in the power of your resurrection the power of resurrection bringing life and vitality to my body the power of resurrection keeping me alive all through the moments of my assignment hallelujah in the name of jesus up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph o'er his foes he arose the victor from the dark domain and he leaves forever with his saints to reign he arose he arose hallelujah christ arose he arose he arose dead in my destiny because he arose i command you by the power of resurrection arise now open your mouth and begin to pray my health that is dead or dying arise now is someone praying because he arose from the grave everything locked up in the grave finances opportunities my destiny i command you by the power of resurrection like lazarus come forth new doors that will give me an opportunity to serve his majesty come forth go ahead and declare Please pray, please pray, please pray. 
make meaning of your Easter because he arose I decree and declare I arise spiritually I arise financially I arise destiny wise I arise and every power of the grave every power of the grave every grave cloth over my life every grave cloth over my ministry are you praying every grave cloth over my family my children pray I command you give way right now I lose those grave clothes if he arose then I arise if he arose then I arise pray over every challenge in your life financial challenges health challenges because he arose I arise refuse to remain in the grave he is risen the doctrine of resurrection demands that like he arose you also arise same power that conquered the earth lives in me ah, lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me ah, lives in me prophesy over your destiny same power, same power that conquered the earth lives in me Listen, I want to prophesy and declare and activate that power of resurrection. Now that you are still alive, there are still other things that are dead. And you can't be alive and something around your life is now dead. I want to speak. Believe it. That in the name of Jesus, dead finances, let the power of resurrection cause you to come back to life now relationships come back to life now dead opportunities come back to life now dead health conditions hear me anyone here who is sick in your body and the devil is already trying to see that he deteriorates your body I command that dead organ to come back to life now dreams dreams that god gave you but for some reason they have died it comes back to life now <laughs> giftings abilities that have died that god gave you to bring you increase to bring you significance i decree and declare they come back to life now I hear me anyone wearing any grave clothes in the realm of the spirit by the power that raised Christ from the dead I lose you now go free 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 in the name of Jesus hear me any family here represented that has a loved one that is not saved we release angels to those houses we release angels to those houses 
supernatural encounters through dreams and visions in the name of Jesus Christ hear me please anyone having dreams of untimely death you keep seeing yourself with dead people you keep seeing yourself dreaming or maybe prophetic words have been coming be careful I see you dying I want to declare to you by reason of the power of death nothing takes you until your assignment is over I repeat nothing takes you until your assignment is over two more prayers everyone here under the yoke of the spirit of fear you can't live your life freely because you are afraid what if i go out and i die what if i come and i die what if i take a plane and it crashes what if i go by road and something happens i command that spirit of death that comes through fear to live your life now in the name of jesus the works of your hands whatever has died hear the word of the lord i bring to you the resurrection power hear me if the grave could not stop jesus from coming back to life i transport anything that needs to come from the realm of the spirit into this physical realm by the resurrection power let it appear in your physical realm here hear me if jesus could leave one dimension into another then every blessing that you need locked up in the realm of the spirit i pull it down to manifest in the physical realm in the name of jesus say after me very loud and clear say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i am a child of god born of the word and born of the spirit i believe that jesus walked upon the earth i believe he died i believe he was buried i believe he went to the place of the dead i believe he defeated satan sin hell and the grave i believe he resurrected by the glory of the father i believe that he ascended to heaven i believe he is seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for me i believe that i am victorious in this life and hereafter no more fear no more limitations no more anxiety i am victorious today and victorious always give jesus a big shout of praise <laughs> hallelujah the bible says the righteousness of faith speaketh on this wise i want you to go back home today carrying that consciousness i am victorious don't let life bully you in life you are victorious beyond it you are victorious if he rose you will rise on that day but for now everything connected to you must rise to match up what has happened in the name of jesus christ hallelujah all hands together final prayer and then we're done i am serving a living god his name is jesus christ he died and rose and gave me victory i have victory one more time from the depth of your heart I am serving a living God. His name 
His name is Jesus Christ. He died. He died and rose and gave me victory. I can tell you happy Easter happy Easter means a victorious Easter that you commemorate with understanding that you hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.